In this video, I want to show you how to uh, customize your graphics. So I have a simple uh, distribution here, or model here. I have A, which is a risk normal, a mean of 100, and a standard deviation of 10, and V, the same distribution. And the model is uh, the product of these two. And here's the model. And this is what we want to, to modify here. So I'm going to blow this up. I'm going to click on the right mouse and go to Graph Options. And so when you're doing a model, you know, you want to make sure you get the display that you want. But we're going to put in the title here. Uh, and you can put it in here, or you can just go up here and click on this and type it in directly. But um, using no imagination, you would put in a title here. This would not substitute for the figure label in your narrative, but uh, you know it, it should go some way in that direction. Now we're going to go to the x-axis here. That's the axis down here. And I would like to minimize all the ink that is not showing data. So I want to get rid of the grid line. And I'm going to put a title in here that says uh, thousands of dollars, let's say. Uh, you would put a label on the axis, whatever these units are, you wanna make sure that they are identified. We're gonna go over here to the Y axis. And I don't want grid lines here either. And actually, you see over here where it says values in uh, tens of thousands? These values don't mean anything. They are density measures. They're going to confuse people. So I'd like to get rid of them. I want to get rid of these tick labels. I want to get rid of the scale factor. Okay. Now I'm going to go to curves. Oh, I, I need an axis. So I'm going to put frequency here. That's what this is. This is the frequency with which the different values occur. So I put frequency there. I'm going to go to curves now. And I click on the auto button. And I'm going to change the color to black because this is going to be in a report. It's going to be black and white. And instead of bars, I want to use a line. Uh, you get to pick the line style here if you like. You can make it a thick line, a thin line. I'll stay with this. And interpolation. Uh, none would leave it kind of uh, squared off like this, but a spline would uh, smooth out the line some. You'll see what that looks like in a moment. I'm going to go to the legend now and pull down this. I want uh, a legend with a statistics table. I would like to use the five number summary, but I know people are going to want to see the mean too. Yeah, do I leave that in there? Yeah, I'm going to say no. Just so you can see, you can select what you want. I'll put the median in, get rid of the standard deviation. Give me the 25th and 75th percentiles. And I don't need the number of values. Uh, just give me the five number summary, and that's how you get it. Delimiters, uh, you can add delimiters in here. We're not going to use that in this case. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little scroll right arrow and markers. If you wanted to put, if you wanted to identify the mean, so let's put the mean in here. I'll tell you, go ahead and identify the mean if you want. And then I'm going over here to other. And at other, I'm going to say, whoops, excuse me. Up here at other, I want to say, I don't want any background. Uh, and I don't want the plot area colored. I want to get rid of that, that gray there. Let's make it white. And so now I'm going to click this. And you see all the changes that we made. Here over here, the legend is the five number summary. Here's the, the expanded title that we put in. This says frequency now, and the numbers are gone. On the horizontal axis, we have dollars. We have an indicator here that tells us what the mean is. And instead of getting bars, we have this Casper the Friendly Ghost kind of shape. So when you produce graphics for your professional work, when you produce graphics for your final paper, I would expect you to be using um, options like this, okay?